Yo, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, my people? Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Kenyan American Home. And if you're joining me for the first time, welcome, welcome, karibu, karibu. Make sure you feel free to hit that subscribe button, maze. Eh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for my members. Thank you for my subscribers. I do appreciate you. Appreciate you and all the love that you show me. Now, today, today I have a story to tell you, maze, and I'm excited for our guests today. Uh, it's uh, ex excited for you to hear their stories. Excited to hear their stories about, you know, uh, their their crazy journey to the U.S. So, you know, for the first time, we're having twins and how they came to the U.S. with, you know, as international students. So I'm, I'm hoping this will encourage you. I'm hoping it will bless you. And yeah, so stay back, listen. And without much further ado, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for my guests for today. The Osangiri sisters. <laughs> pia, 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 pia. <laughs> yeah. hey, welcome, welcome, Vanna. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. So who are the who are the Osangiri sisters? Oh, okay, so um, my name is Sibyl Osangiri, and uh -huh. this is my twin. She's a little bit shy. <laughs> yeah. She's Stacy and we are the Osangiri twins, and we are really happy to be on your channel. So exciting, yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. So I'm I'm excited. Once I heard your story, I'm I'm I was like, hey, you need to tell your story to people so that you know it's 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 awesome. Your journey from Kenya to you know from Kenya to the U.S. and it's it's just the two of you, your sisters. You do where 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 are your moms and uh, your 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 parents? Are they back home? Yeah, my parents, everyone is back home in Kenya. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay, wait. You guys look young. How old are you? Um, 19. Yeah, we're both 19. We oh, just... wow. Yeah. 19 and you just hopped on a plane and came to the U.S.? We yeah. actually moved when we were 18. Whoa. So, yeah, it's fun to go. Wait, wait. Okay, okay. Wait, so uh, who, who's, who's Sibyl and who's... Uh, you know, who are you guys? Like, if someone asks. Um, I'm Sibyl. I'm the firstborn. I talk too much. I'm the outgoing. <laughs> Stacy, she doesn't talk too much. She's the shy one. And, yeah. Ah, wait. Who came first? I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So, wait. Where, uh, home. Where is home for you guys? Um, In Kenya? Mm-hmm. Um, we come from Nairobi, and we had um, our our grandma in Kitale, and we okay. had another grandma in Busia. So yeah. Ah, okay, cool. So you guys went to you went to primary school in Kenya, went to high school in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were we went to primary in Itskiminini. It's just near Kitale in Saint okay. Anne's Academy, and then in high school we also went to the same exact high school, Lugulu Girls High School. It's in Western. So we've been together every single step of the way. Even coming to the US, we got the visas together. So it's just uh -huh. all together, yeah. Wait, that's crazy. So are you guys, wait, is it, do they call it, is it, what kind of twins are you? Matano, Fratano? Yeah, Fratano. We don't look alike. She's taller than me. And okay. different features, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. So you guys have been together like every step of the way until right now. You guys have never been like separated with school, Amakitukayo? Never separated. Oh wow! Oh wow! Wow! So, you finished high school. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, how long ago was that? We finished high school on twenty twenty December twenty twenty two, and then we, yeah, we finished December twenty twenty two. Then twenty twenty three, we did the process of applying for the visa and everything. Took like um a year or six, no eight then, eight months, and then we applied in for in December. The, we came here. Ah, wait. So you guys just graduated, and you started your process, like yeah, exactly. yeah. Ah, wait. Have you always uh, wanted to come to the U.S., Ama? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We've so always wanted to come to the U.S. Then our aunt has been here for for a couple of years, like um, a couple of years. He she came on a green card. Okay. So we always used to talk to her and be like, we want to come stay over with you. We want to come study in the U.S. It's been a dream. We I kept talking about it in high school and yeah. Ah, cool. Wait, so you guys didn't like stay home, hustle. You 
graduated high school and then wait how long how long between you graduating high school and you getting your visa it was less than nine months nine months mm -hmm. hey so you guys haven't tarmacked in kenya <laughs> you didn't get the opportunity to take brown envelopes and go looking for jobs in Kenya. No. <laughs> oh. Almost that. Because some, at some point we the process was so things were like ah it's not going to work out. So we started like doing something on the side. Okay. Taking classes on the side and then I, I applied for a couple of universities, you know. Yeah. Okay. Wait, so so how did you, how did they all start? Like uh, you have your aunt in the US, but you you wanted to come study. Did you uh did you look up schools? How did you how yeah how how did this whole process start to come to the US? Okay, so we finished um our, our form four and then our results came out, right? Mm -hmm. Um can I say my grade? So um if you it's free, you can say your grade. I got a B plus and she got a B B plane. Okay, so okay. It's a really good grade. We we're like, oh that's nice, we can venture into universities. So our first process is, um, I did a lot of YouTube research about okay. coming to the US. I watched a lot of your YouTube videos, so many, okay. so many. Okay. So I knew this process is a 50-50 thing. You never know if you're gonna get your visa approved. You never expect anything. So we applied for the COOPS, the COOPS in Kenya. Okay. So Wait, actually- what's, what's the COOPS in Kenya? It's the um, the what, the university placement. It's called CUSPs or CUPS. I don't know. When ah, they... so like when you is it what they used to call job back in the day? Sorry. Mm, I think so. Ja but... Job back in the day was joint admission board. It's the one that was kind of admitting people to the university. Yeah, so it's the same thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, actually, I got into multimedia university through that. They selected me to go to that one, and my sister got. They start, I think. They start university through the courses. Okay. So after we got the universities, we we're like, um, we're gonna keep the admissions letter and start the process. Okay. In the process, we didn't even have our IDs ready because we had not turned eighteen years. Uh, we were eighteen. Okay. So it got to February twenty. So we finished December twenty twenty two. Now we are in February on the twentieth. We turn. We turn eighteen. We had to wait until we turned eighteen, 18 to, get to get IDs. To start the application. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we get IDs and um we kind of we kind of we are told that to get your IDs you have to go to the village. Now for when they like to Busia to get your to get your IDs quicker. I don't know how it works. Okay. So we travel nine hours from Nairobi to go rush get the to get IDs. That's February twentieth. The okay. next day, our birthday. I think it's the next day. So we go apply for our IDs. And now you're like, we're so worried because we have to get this process starting. We don't even have IDs yet. So finally, we get the, um, after two months, we got our IDs. Yeah, after two months, we got the IDs. They were sent to Nairobi. We followed up. We kept following up till we got our IDs faster. Okay. So after the IDs, we don't have passports. <laughs> <laughs> and then at that time, Ilkua, everybody was saying on TikTok, at the Kenya system, there's no passports coming out. You have oh, to yeah, that was the, that was and the time. Zilukwa Zime, like, they, yeah, there was some reason with pr printing the the, the books and stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, they kept, everyone kept saying at Zilime, in Goja, 10 years, I mean, three years, two years, it's not coming out. So we are like, what? This is not going to work out. But now we went ahead, we went, um, we went to make the line, it was in Nairobi. We got a letter from my dad's job. Oh yeah, my my dad has a pretty good job. Um, he works with NGO, so he we were able to get um. Can you explain that? We were able we, to. We got a letter saying I think just an emergency passport. Okay. And we went in, applied for it, and it came out after two to three days. Oh cool. Yeah. So that was actually really luck because we expected to pay money because Roger. Just... Kenya. Oh yeah, yeah. You have to. Uh huh. Yeah, but the thing is, um, my dad knew these people. We I don't know how because my dad works with disability things and disability have the not disability and stuff. So okay. we got that opportunity and we got our passports accepted. We got our passports in three days. Three days. Okay. Yeah. Ah, wait. So you get your passport. Were you? Is this 
Wait, have you applied to any schools in the US now or are you still? Because every, actually at that time we were looking, we are looking for schools. It was, I think, July. It was July. And then I was started looking into schools and schools, all schools required a passport for you to progress with any application. You have to have a passport. So we were now working on the passport. Okay. So, um, so at that point, so they were searching on schools, and actually, US wasn't like the main place you wanted to come because we find a lot of options. You were like, we can go to no, the US was the top option, the but top. we had other options. Okay, because like, Bitcoin seem impossible to come to the US because of the uh, what other countries were you guys looking at? Oh, crazy ones like Luxembourg. Oh, oh that's yeah. A- <laughs> Luxembourg is actually nice. Uh huh. Yeah, we were. I kept, but they. The whole process of our visa, it was just me researching, watching YouTube, watching TikToks, like everything. We didn't use any agent, no nothing. Okay. So I went online looking for schools in Luxembourg, in Australia, in Austria, in all those countries. But these countries they required an English, an any German or certain language. And I was like spending another month learning a language. I'm not doing that. Okay. So that's when we stuck on the USA, because USA you just don't need any language mm-hmm. and so we started applying to schools now and then um i watched a lot of videos of u.s um people who have come to the u.s here, here and then i heard of the community college and also my aunt has been here for a couple of years so she was telling us she's she telling us the best way to come here is to use a community college because you can easily come and then the fees is not as extremely high it's still high, high but not high. as high as the university university mm-hmm. Okay. So that's when we settled to apply for a community college. So first of all, we were like, um, we're going to look for a college that is close to her home so that we can have somewhere to stay because it's really expensive to live in America, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. we we searched, we found this college that is close to her home. It's Olympic College. And then we settled for community college, for Olympic College and started the application for okay. Olympic College. Did you guys just applied to one college or did you try? Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, and at that time, I used to watch videos and people were saying, you need to apply to a couple of colleges so that when they go and ask you in the interview, I do they, you can, say, you can say you applied to a few colleges. Uh-huh. Yeah, and all these things, were, and that's why the process as we kept going, we were like, this is not going to work because I'm not even ticking the boxes. Like, we're just doing the wrong things as we go. Because uh-huh. <laughs> we wanted to apply to another couple of more schools to just do that, but they needed like a $50 Oh yeah, the application fee. Fifty dollar. Yeah. And we are like saving on that because you're already spending money to do this whole thing. Uh huh. So um, now we settled on Olympic College. We are applying to just one school. We apply for the school, and then for you to apply for a school, they have to send you the I twenty. The I twenty that you need to use to the to apply for the visa. So we are reaching out to the school. We applied. It's been it's been like a month. They're not reaching back to us. Oh, wait, so you, you sent your applic both of you sent your applic. Did you yeah. apply to, to the same course? Yeah, for- no, no different I'm courses. Nursing. nursing and I applied for engineering. Okay. Wait, yeah. what, what what engineering? Electrical and computer engineering. Okay, so you applied electrical and she applied for nursing. But yeah. you guys waited for like a month? Yeah, it was a month waiting for them to reach out to us. So oh wow. Because oh, community yeah. colleges usually respond quicker than I know universities. No, I it don't was know. Like two weeks. No, there was an issue. Oh, now I remember. There is only we had an issue with the bank statement. Because ah. they, yeah, because there's two of us, and they need okay. a certain amount of money for you to send your application. You need to put the bank statement. Yes. And you do not have that money in the account. Okay. That's what happened. So we had to wait for. We actually used a couple of bank statements because um we had to use like my dad's, my aunt's, just to make it add up and make that money. Finally, we got a bank statement, and the bank statement was not even like we didn't have like the money to show that mm-hmm. to fund the both of us, even just one person, it wasn't enough. Yeah, so we used like my dad's, my aunt's, and then finally the application went through. So right? you combined? Did you? Did yeah. you? Have, did they have to write you affidavit? Affidavit, yes. Okay. okay. So they like my aunt had to write for us an affidavit just to help us get the application go through. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so now finally the application went through, and then after some time, her, her what, you think, campus, 
My I twenty. Your I her I twenty came out first. Okay. And she was so happy. Finally, we have been accepted to the school, and then the community college works in hand with the university, so you get like two letters. Get, so we got one for University of Washington admission. We got two admissions. Okay. For university of Washington and OC. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wait. So you guys also applied to uh, yeah. UW. UW. Yeah, but it's connected with the community college. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, so so she got her letter first, and then at that time it stayed. We stayed for some time. Mine was not coming out, so we are like, we're just gonna go through it's Jesse's process, because mine there's no signs of mine working. But uh, I think after it was after like a week or two, mine came out too. They sent it to me. The if I your I twenty your I twenty came out. Wait, so explain here, uh, Olympic Olympic College. Mm -hmm. Does it have like partnership with the University of Washington? Yeah, it has. It has like a hundred partnerships with universities. So okay. when you're done with two years, you can decide to transfer to okay. any university they have partnership. Okay. For those of you who do not understand, a community college is usually two years. Uh, some are three years, but basically you get a diploma after you're done, associate degree. They call it associate degree here in the US, and then you take your associate degree. Uh, move on to a university where you can finish your degree. It's usually the reason why people uh, use community colleges is because they are cheaper, uh, easier to get into. Uh, and so you'll get in there, study your two years, and then after that, which is way cheaper than going university for the whole four years. So you do your two years or so in community college, and then you'll jump into the university and finish your other two years to get your degree. All right. All right. You continue. You continue. So your I-20 came uh, a week later. Yeah, it came a week later after I was stressed. I thought it was not going to work out, and then it finally came. Then now, after getting the the if I, the I I-20s, what was the next step? We had to apply for the... Oh, now the getting a visa debt. The DS-160. Yeah, yeah, filling the DS-160, and then, wait, do you get the visa debt, then DS-160? No, DS-160, then the... So you fill, you fill the DS-160 and then after you complete that pay and then you get to choose your dates. Yeah, yeah. So we filled the DS-160. That was pretty good. But everyone, everyone kept saying, I watched your videos, kept saying you need to know every detail you fill in because you know, they're going to ask you such questions and everything. And then one thing on the DS-160, they ask you this question. Do you have a relative in the US? Yeah. So everyone kept saying... Do not tell them you have a relative. Tell yeah. them like there was a lot of different opinions on that. And then the last thing mm -hmm. I, was, I was so confused on what to do. But I don't know what happened. But we just we were like we're gonna go with the truth because if we even if we hide, we don't have a relative in the US, and that's where we're gonna stay. It's gonna ruin the whole thing. So we yeah. went we went with honesty. We just told them I have a relative in the US. This is my we 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 say that. So we agreed to that. So after that, now it's getting a um, visa date. There is no visa date. There, there was no the visa date. The nearest one was in June 2024. And that wow. was like November, October. When, when, when were you supposed to start school? December 27th was, I think, the we, we, were, we were supposed to, to get here by December. That was last year, December. Ah, and the interview was like June. This year. Yeah, June this year. Mm -hmm. So that's not definitely work again i went back to watching videos people said you can get an expedite, expedite. which is also mm -hmm. called an emergency visa yeah and people said it's not guaranteed yeah even in the prepared they say if you don't reply that means consider it rejected yeah people most people usually don't get it mm -hmm. yeah and they apply for expedition uh-huh mm -hmm. So we called the embassy and they were like, you need to apply for an expedite 30 days before the beginning of the school year. Okay. If you apply so, too soon, it's also bad. If you apply for an expedite and your school is starting in 60 days, it's also bad. So I think on November 27th, exactly a month, we applied for an expedite visa. I think it was eight in the evening. We just sent the letter and we were like, oh, well, let's see how it's going to go. The next day. So what, what, did you, what did you guys say was your reason? We said we're trying to get to school and this is our first date. Uh, we're starting school on December and the date is beyond. That's just all we said. That's all we said on the expedite. And then they responded the next, the next day, day. The next day at 12.15, they responded yeah. like, you have, you a, have visa a visa date tomorrow. 
was like <laughs> Wait, were you guys did, were you guys prepared? No. no. <laughs> okay. Not we had not paid the fifty seven thousand for service fee, so we okay. had to look for a hundred and ten. We didn't even have the money night. for the service. Oh wow! So you guys are just sending in, hoping that they push it yeah. closer, mm -hmm. and then they tell you the next oh. day. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that, yeah, and at that time, like they were like twenty percent. They were like twenty percent is gonna work. Eighty percent is not gonna work. They got to fifty. Like we were like. To share my each each fail in ten multimedia university and then a day star in our life. It was like life is just gonna be okay, you know. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait. So you have to come up with the seven hundred dollars because it's seven. It was seven three fifty for three fifty for each. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Happy. I had to get that to do it. Must be because you know how we are preparing step wisely. So for that to do it, it's gonna be out of nowhere. We don't have the photos. We had nothing, like nothing. Okay, so this is what happened. So that night. Wait, what? What? What time did you? What? What time was your interview? And it was at fifteen. It was um yes, not twelve. China, come China, twelve fifteen. Apple. Ah. Okay. Okay. So okay, Mulikwa, no. you, you, wait, uh, Paul. So Mulikwa, you had you had time to to at least prepare yourself and stuff. But we did everything in the morning. Yeah. In the morning. So, okay. Today, today they send us the message. Mm -hmm. Hey, you've um, this is your visa date tomorrow. So that night we are just running around the house scared. Yani Mulikwa to make to make freak out. This is over. And then that night, uh, mm. my dad comes home and she like, let's do the printing and stuff. If and then my dad kept saying, if God plans this for you, it's going to work out. Just let's go with the process. To print, to print, uh, we're going to print back statement. By the oh, way, the back statement was empty. We didn't have the back statement yet. And you know, when you get the back statement, I think you need a signature from I think the a bank. lawyer or something. You need and, an affidavit of support that says mm -hmm. yes. We didn't, so and then I saw at that time there was no money because. The money that we used to actually um show in the applying for the school, it was say me and I owed it. We were Psycho. planning, you know, we thought they were gonna give us a debt maybe two weeks later. So you were like, oh, we're just gonna get a bank statement two weeks later. Like tomorrow, we didn't even have anything. Yeah. So we so just we printed, had to use we printed like an old bank statement and we were like, we just praying they don't ask for this bank statement. Because it was <laughs> It was, it was less money, not even half. It was so less money. Nothing. It was, it was like four months old. Yeah. And then we printed. <laughs> wait, no, wait, back up. I20, because I20 uh, usually has who's supporting you. What what, what what, what, did it say there? Like, it's, who's supporting? Was it your dad? or? It, it, it did not. Maybe it did not say. But before, before the printing, I thought confirm you can afford that money. So it was proof that yeah. we could afford that money. But I don't remember it saying. Okay. Yeah. Let okay. me continue. So that night we print um the documents. Now we print the the bad state the bad bank statement. We print the FI twenties. We print the. They were asking some things that you need to print. The confirmation the, page. The... Mm -hmm. All those all things. of those things we printed them. I just remember this time we are only following social media, watching YouTube. We didn't have any agent. Wait, I are you paying service yet? Have you paid service yet? Because no, no, still they were looking for a way to find the money. The okay. hundred. So the other mother told we plan the next month to come cast we we go take the photos. And then my dad, my dad, we got my dad found out. My dad got the money. I think he just called someone because so to come we can even call a friend, just tell me this is quick money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So the next morning, okay. my dad the money sent us. So we go to the morning to Nenakwa, to Nenakwa, to a bigger picture. Yeah, no, we went first to the bank. It took us like three hours to the bank. deposit PESA. I don't know what was wrong. Because the service, they wanted to be only in cash. I'm I think only in cash. So we had to look for an M-PESA that has 115K. Namingi Azina. So well, there's something about Western Union. Yeah, it's Western bank. Union. I think they want you to pay. They want you to send the money in Western Union. Yeah, and not all banks have Western Union. Yeah. So we actually we, we went to TRM to TRM Mall, which had the Walkona Kwali Western Union. So we first had to go and convert all our money to cash. We were walking around with a hundred k. 
went to the bank and then sent it to Western Union. Now we got the service receipt. And time was running. We were getting late because in Africa time your interview, but not to TRM. So, so TRM time is what, what time is it? It's 11. It's 11. Interview is? Until 15. And I thought when they had the garden. Then break down and we only have like 30 minutes. <laughs> then I think I was crying at this point. Machine ya kupiga pizza in a Says you mean Kulia. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got my summer sister here. Here you were the canny. Here can you be such keeper? Like I was the canny. Okay. Then, so we went to a kennel called Chini. We went to a studio. We went to a studio. We went to a Uber. Afu the Uber guy was like, "Kuna zako na jam, muame mungu." At this point, we have like ten minutes. No, like fifteen. No, kuliko na. You want to like 30 minutes to fika kwa no, MC? It was like 20. Okay, so uba ika fika. Apo tuna go, ito inafa uba yende faster, na kusikuwe na any jam. Chyo tukengia kwa uba, jyo tulipungia chungi ya gani, tukena ibo, wadi ibo. Tuka fika. Kuli fika at jyo two minutes before the time. Ilikuwa ya ni, lafu, ilikuwa ya kwa mbote ya kuingia ni yo time. Chyo tulifika ibi yu wakasama majina zetu kwa gate. Kwa zi nafukana kwa line. Jyo doka, so sangiri, and Dorothy or Sangiri, you can get a lack of your time. You look at like the last, you need to make it the last minute. So you can get one to Katulia. After cooking, yes, you can dream, and now we are in here to make it. But at that point, you don't even know how to talk. Like, you can't give up. It's got a smart word. You can't get a job. 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 You can't So many formalities, Asa, because you guys are like, we're here, but we later end the end. Yeah, the end. Yeah, I was even telling because everybody used to collect my mom, my my shosh used to be like, ah, how is the process? I was like, chat to Zambia to the Jaribu ikakata because it's like so much pressure. I am done mm-hmm. with this process. So um, but we didn't even actually tell anyone. No friend, no nothing. The only person we knew was like my shosh and my mom, my my parents. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Auntie Angwe, oh, yeah. pia Auntie Angwe mwenye kuku, alikuwa na njua. Mm-hmm. Kwa tunyani the possible you used to, only needs to know it. So tukaingia kwa supposes tuka kwa wakonje kuhungoja ndo wende sawa scan passport na kila kitu. Sapo tumekapo tukwe tu siju tutafanya aje. Tukwe tuwepanga wa tuwasema story, asiju tuseme, kumbuka. <laughs> ati tuseme tuko pa, like tusikei kama tuko pa moja, and at least mtu moja apewe, ata mtu moja kienda itasaidia. Tusikwe tumekotisa ipesa. Okay. Oh, because we're going to get like a touch into like let's just work one person a party visa to Moja and Emma do that's enough for the family. Yeah, so could you go on this system? What can I work one? No, she went, fast. I went first. Then you know, when I pay passport, they put a sticker behind. So I went after her, and the lady was like, You guys have the same names, are you guys sisters? And I was like, Oh. So Nani and Auliza and Mzungu Amani, those kind of people. Kenya. Okay. I can say, oh, you guys are sisters. You can do the interview together. Now, when I say, you guys can do the interview together, I knew we were going to get it. <laughs> oh, you knew you were going to get it? I just felt like it was a sign. But you know, I was so busy. 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 This might be a sign. So Alikuja, I can be a Timmy, me and you are to interview for Moja. You can best sign in Baya, shall lose this you water. Cream to Moja and Gigana Pata, easy for me. I mean, but I don't know why I was so pessimistic, sick or hopeful at all. Okay. I think I was trying to put my my soul low, not in the quad in any square had broken. So you can best see a son of Baya, each not talk about your villa visas. So to end us up online to make line, we need to have visa. Consider we also have Zungu when you are in Sasa. Hey, Sasa, um, we go online. What we want to, um, to want to kinda, I can name one. Another student was in front of us. Munaskia, Munaskia, can you name one? Eh, from my childhood, I knew that too. 
uh, what have you been doing since you finished high school? Na akasema nothing. Na akambiwa um kwa denied. Alisema nothing. Alisema nothing. Eh. Eh. Baby, watu wanauliza tunacheka nini? Eh. Usiwahi sema unafanya nothing because Yeah. If you say unafanya nothing that means wewe ukienda America uwezi rudi. Alafu goal cause goal goal is to prove that uko na intention ya kurudi nyumbani. So ukienda kusema at by the way I'm not doing anything na nataka kwenda America. Uwezi pay hiyo visa. So yeah. akasema nothing akanyimwa. Eh. Okay. Akashanga umevaa hivyo yote, umefanya process then you just can't say nothing. But anyway, maybe alikuwa anxious, you know you can't judge. Maybe he was anxious whatever happens. Was it was it a, a guy or a it, it was a, it was a, it was a girl. Like she was just short and kind of took her to high school like our age. Okay. I, I felt so bad. She was so sad. Yeah, but so mwingine akaenda, alafu kuna mtu alikuwa msiku 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 alienda akakuwa accepted. No, ilikuwa mvulana. Alikuwa anaenda Harvard, ilikuwa like a big school, alikuwa me It was in my yeah, akakuwa accepted. Then another person. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, watu wako mbele yenu mnaona. Eh, tunaona kila kitu. Like only one officer. I think it was at lunch. So it was okay. only one person. Okay. So wapili wanaenda, wapili walinyi mama wapili walipewa. Alipewa. Basi kuna mama alienda hapo na mtoto. Alikuwa anataka kazi kwa visa gani? Ilikuwa ya Canada. It's you. It's you. It's you. Embassy. So hii mama alikuwa na mtoto wake na kwa kwa denied it was so sad. Oh, like kuna kuna watu hii. Alikuwa anasema she was going to see her husband yes. but she wasn't clear. So akanyimwa. Akanyimwa. Then kulikuwa na Okuka msema tulikuwa tunaongea na yeye msema tulikuwa na yeye pamoja. Yeye alipata pia visa. Yeye yeah, ni student pia ama alikuwa visit. Alikuwa student, yake si ilikuwa ni gani? Ilikuwa ya work. Sikumbuki but yeye alipata. Okay. And then so um we went now. At that point um me and I, the time all time my heart was just like beating to kiongea. I was just like nilikuwa ni maintain. So so we went to the embassy sister ngo ko kando yango tuko pamoja. So can you so why do you want to go to the US? Like I was say um we want to go and study um in the US. And then he was like kwa kwanza bethe ilisema I want to go and study engineering and sister ngo akasema atakwenda ku study nursing. And then can you say what was the next question? Uh I don't know if it was Okay. Do you have a relative in the US? Kasema yes. Kuliza are you planning How to are stay you, with her? Are you planning to stay with her? Yes. Do you know the address? We said the address where she lives. And then Kauliza um what is the what are the first what are you going to study in nursing? And what you going to study engineering stem but then miss kwa na kicho kusema I had no idea but she said kana to kuongea I just didn't say anatomy I'm going to do anatomy physiology just random things Wait yeah, and then, I, what was the question What are you going to study in nursing like because I said her major is nursing what Oh is what it? what are you going to study okay Yeah actually Who I think at the same anatomy na physiology No <laughs> aliuliza what are you going to study in, in nursing, nursing. Then I call Lisa what are you going to study in nursing so I had to stay to say we tunaenda ku study for nursing and I okay. had no idea so I just started saying anatomy psychology just random things yeah. okay I think what helped us most is because you mtu alikuwa anasikia maswali mbili akamwambia denied but I feel like when we said I said I'm going to study engineering in the US akakuwa to said kujua what do I, what do you want to study in engineering So our conversation became more long. So na kauliza sai akaanza kuongelea hiyo anatomy in nursing and then akaniuliza mimi. Nikasema um engineering is so big. I'm going to um start with general engineering, general classes and with time I'm going to specialize on my computer and electrical engineering. Nikasema hivyo. Alafu akasema akauliza akauliza how we akuulizie bank statement. Hapo tuko na chance asuulizie bank statement. Aliuliza tu what does your parents do? Nikasema I just said my dad works with disability and Ivo too aka alafu akasema oh okay but then we just like we were so like confident any Ivo let me say that and then what else did they ask I think that was it and then um 
they wanted to ask if we had family here, or, yeah, if you have family here. So we said, um, we said we have our parents, we have siblings, we have um our grandmother, we have a really nice supportive family, yada yada, evil. And then at that point, at some point, we felt like we were stammering. You gonna feel as if you explain myself enough. And then she just came from me. She's like, "Here's a green fight. Your your green. It was blue. It was blue. It was like your visa is in our fruit. You can get it in two, three to two to three, three days. days." And I was like, wow. "What?" I was like, like when she passes the visa, like what? Because I felt like we didn't explain ourselves enough. We felt, I don't know. You like, what? Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. I was like, this is going so well. I can't ruin it. I was so shocked. I was smiling. I was, I was just. You were like, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank that took up on a visa, you go into the maker and you go like, what? This is a miracle. And then we went out of the embassy. We called, I called my mom, called my dad. They were so happy. They were really excited. Ah, nice, nice. Mulukona confidence. Ama mulukona nini? Confidence, confidence, confidence is key. Nice, nice, nice. So metoka umpigia mother. Umpata, umpata visa alafu uh, process ilikuwa ilikuwa hard nini kunini unajua umepata visa watu wengine sasa kama sisi tunaanzanga how am i gonna get a ticket na kadhalika ama that was that wasn't such a struggle for you guys that was a big because after you put a visa ibi so my dad can say what ile fanyika too fast okay it's gonna die my laptop all right so so yeah. Yeah, take your time. Take your time. Ah, what wangu what wangu begin like begin like waki waki plug nini ndio plug nini ndio ikikisha. Eh like alafu nani uh the oh, osangiri sisters watatuambia kama they are on social media and stuff baadaye. Ah yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So after we got our visas approved. So now Sapon realize ticket is expensive. Everything is expensive and it's it's a lot of money because when it's December time, I think December is when the price of flying out is the most expensive. Yeah. So at that time, because um, my dad was like, um, I think to a cancel it Monday, maybe later on in the year, because of the money. And my aunt in the US was like, Hey, don't come shop at a visa. It's a one-time thing. You don't want to ruin that. Um, Tickets were so high. Now, Pia, after your ticket, you know, we pay the first fees. And we were so hoping on the scholarships and stuff, but scholarships is the same. You have to be here for a while to be able to apply for scholarships. And so, can you keep talking about um, after getting a flight ticket? Uh, so, <laughs> we, quite were, we were like, oh, how are we going to get the flight? This is so good. Where are we gonna get a thousand dollars? I we we never planned for it, but I don't know. We just I don't know. That just got the money and we booked the flight. No, it was the whole family thing. We had to involve um we had to involve the outside family, our aunties, our aunties, our grandma. Everybody came in to support us to help us now go abroad. So we got a lot of we a lot of calls, help from somewhere, and then after that we got our ticket booked. It was not an easy thing because actually my we were like thinking of like taking loans and stuff because like it was so much money because I did have to make put a ticket you need the first money to start so a lot of things happened we asked for help from family members and then we got the money for the ticket so after getting the ticket um to to purchase we to we didn't need to buy anything we just used the suitcases that we had we had some suitcases and then started watching videos now, videos on parking to the US, moving to the US and stuff, and then started parking stuff. And then now we were supposed to move here. We we're supposed to move here in like two weeks' time from that time. So all this money, all this crazy amount of money had to be raised in the two weeks time. So we um we got the money and then we booked the tickets, moved here. And then we go to the airport and then our aunt picked us from here. Port of entry you just passed. Uh -huh. 
do they do they ask you anything they just like, ask us um where are you going where, which school are you going to study to and then you say it's, it's always the college it's here and then they're like okay is sita kiliko your port of entry yeah sita okay okay so mengia and tenya mochukua uh how's way so how long have you been in america say i think it's eight months now nine nine maybe we came uh-huh. December last year. Okay, nine months. Nini likwa? What was the most shocking thing about US? Reality versus perception. Um so first thing when we got here, um kila kitu ilikuwa inaka different, like the environment is different, the houses is different, and it was winter, it was freezing cold. Okay. There was um tulikuwa na little bit of snow. There was not so much snow for the first so the snow was nice it was my first like nice thing snow for the first time but still quite not freeze like it was, we were like freezing i didn't like the weather it was so bad we were freezing then we started having now american food first but our first meal we had here was mexican food okay. it was the mexican beans no burritos the burritos just has beans and stuff any you can eat it the mexican mm. food then we um so that was good for our first day and then what else was unique umeita barito ni sawa tu it's okay barritos it's okay <laughs> potato 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 yeah yeah so we um you guys, like, you guys have like muli nini mlikuwa na shida kwa just to american food like cheese yeah no it was just a little bit on the cheese okay yeah cheese cheese was kind of too much Wait, does your aunt cuz come aunt yako akulangi cheese sana amtakula uh, cheese sana but oh, no, no cheese she likes cheese she's cheese a lot na cheese aiko cheese wanga ina kama kuna kitu i think wase wengi waga wa green now ni cheese wakikuja hapa you guys didn't have any issues na cheese na yeah. I'm trying but but at at first it was like una, una shindwa, but now I think now I'm used to it. I eat cheese I like cheese in everything now. Yeah. Uh, uh, Unajua Kenyan food is like salt based. Ndio wanda ndio wanda mtu akikwambiaaga nakupenda kama chumvi it is that means anakupenda sana in Kenya but alafu nakuja hapa and realize kuna chakula mingi sana wapikangi. Zingine hata wanaweka sukari. Yeah. Machakula, machakula. Ah, okay, cool. And then you guys started school. Yeah. I think when we got here just in a week's time and we started school in a week's time. Then we went to the it was like um we went like a week earlier for orientation. We went to orientation for international students. And the crazy thing we are the only students from Africa. The only student, the only black students quite international students. So oh. Started, yeah. That's surprising. Yeah. Surprising Olympic co- yeah. I'm so, that's surprising. Yeah. Akuna, akuna nini wengi. Mm-hmm. The rest of the international students were like Asians. Okay. okay. Vietnamese, so we were the only like two African girls. Ah, uh, but I suppose wase wengi najua wanaenda gapi. Wase wengi ni either Tacoma ama my Everett. Tacoma ama Ah, that's cool. That's cool. So you guys are adjusting well in the US. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we had but they at first at first the issue was like the accent because like Kenyans we sound different and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I think with time you just adjust to it. And sometimes also they have to understand you the way you sound. Yeah. They, have, they have to keep up with you. Yeah. Yeah. watu wakikuja hapa wana twang siku tikutaka because tukiongea na accent ya kwetu hatusiki ile kitu tunasema. So we have to kind of we have to adjust the way we talk so that they can hear us. We don't have to keep repeating ourselves. Ah, that's cool. That's really impressive that mlitoka Kenya as 18 year olds mkikuja mkuja kupasu your American dream and now you guys are here. Eh. And yeah, the future is bright for you mkuja mkiwa yang. So the eh, America America is a good place. Lots of opportunities na nini. So I'm I'm sure you guys will do great. Kama mmetoka tu Kenya hivyo mkiwa nyi wawili. Yeah, you guys will do great. You guys will do great. 
mtaambia nini wase wengine like kuwa young people or somebody who wants to come na nini na na kuja kusoma US what are your words of wisdom Okay um if you're trying to come on a student visa I'll advise you to just go for it it's going to be hard it's not an easy process you have to do research you have to watch youtube videos you have to google do research and it's it's a 50-50 thing you have to trust your process trust yourself and just be hopeful be prayerful it's going to work out and yeah i think that's all i can say yeah you should hold on to that dream and it's going to be tough you're going to feel like giving up at some point but just hold on to that dream cool 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 now if someone wants to ask ask you questions or you guys on social media by the way ama ama mnasoma sana mwingiagi social media oh social media let me what are you in social media I have my tiktok account i post videos on my tiktok actually i'm going to start sharing videos about my visa process Maybe okay talk to people about it but yeah i've been sharing videos on how i study and stuff like that ah wait so what what unajitaje what's your what are your handles let me give you my tiktok account um, um, i also started doing youtube but i only have like okay so my tiktok have... is os- osangiri underscore four osangiri underscore four ebo what's your name so is it uh just osangiri yeah just osangiri underscore four that's my my tiktok and then my youtube so i just did one video on my youtube oh, okay my youtube is similar sangiri so io ebu yeah osangiri underscore four that's my tiktok okay you keep saying osangiri na but you like to know on your sangiri Oh but I know yeah but the right pronunciation ya yeah, in my language inafai kuwa na ngiri. Ah uta uta hata mimi nilikuja I came here with my kanini and I had to lose it because people will not get it right they will not pronounce it right so I just I forgot about it now I don't even pronounce it with a ng sound I just I just pronounce it with the Mm-hmm. just the way you read it eh cuz wazungu <laughs> here have trouble pronouncing our names as it is ukiwekea hiyo kangongo awezi yeah so wait osangi uh, os- osangiri uh, underscore four. this is tiktok alafu yeah. youtube it should be sibel osangiri sibel sibel and in the osangiri the o is small oh okay Nah. Sing you that. Alafu yeye ngine ni Sibel. Si sako ako ako nini ama yeye ni Ama TikTok. Okay. We Sibel, yeye ngine ni YouTube na someone jita Sibel or Sangir. Yeah, Sibel ni S Y B I L. Okay. Oh. Let's go. Oh, Namibia. Okay. What well, and then you so that's 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 YouTube Alafu Sistako. TikTok yangu ni underscore S T A Y with a brown heart. S T A S T A dot C Y Okay. So where? Boo, boo, boo. So Evo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. They can follow follow you TikTok up Evo or follow follow Nani follow cbel cbel well thank you thank you so much for thank you so much for joining us eh uh, yeah and i'm i'm happy for you i'm happy that 
Eh, I'm happy that you, you got your sister. Ni ingekuwa sad kama ungeenda moja apewe moja nyimo. But it's nice that you guys have each other. Yeah. I'm sure it makes it makes a whole lot of difference to have your sister there versus kukuwa wewe uko uko America peke yako. Tusaidiana. Tusaidiana as life as life goes on. But yeah, super excited. Alafu new art by the watu wangu. Make sure you follow them. Make sure you follow them. Show them some shop, uh, support. 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 Waonyeshe support the Kenyan American home family like we always do. Follow them. Encourage them. They are young. Eh, eh. Alafu you can learn a few things. You can learn a few things new watu mnataka kuja US. New watu mnataka kuja US. So thank you so much. Thank you Stacy and Sibel for joining us and uh Yeah, really appreciate really appreciate you taking the time to to join me to join me. So, shukran sante sana, shukran sante sana and I know so many people will be blessed seeing this. So many people will be blessing this. So, shukran, shukran, shukran. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey. Thank you everybody for joining us, Maze. I hope that story uh, encouraged you. Make sure make sure Maze, make sure you go follow them, subscribe uh to their youtube channels and uh, and tiktok accounts but otherwise mina wapenda sana as always man i'll keep bringing stories for you to encourage you eh, keep dreaming alafu msisahau kujaza dv lottery tafadhali msisahau kujaza dv lottery eh na watu wanataka ni wajazia kama kawaida mnajua mnajua nimeweka video hapo eh, na details zote instagram ukinipata ni hivyo but please make sure umejaza please make sure umejaza But to dates you can always as long as you join in as a member kuna link hapa kwa hii video hapa below inakwambia join as a member and then you'll get eh utapata hizo dates utapata hizo dates the best days other than that mimi nawapenda sana shukran thank you for the support and uh eh kama kawaida mazel keep keep bringing you uh, all these awesome stories and uh, yeah mkuja america mkuja america yeah, until next time mazel eh peace